Alright, let's kick off this shit fest, and we're going to start off this series by addressing a story covered by the Amazing Atheist about an atheist professor and how his views were humbled by the likes of a Christian Marine. A United States Marine was taking some college courses between assignments. One of the courses had a professor who was an avid atheist and a member of the ACLU. One day, the professor shocked the class when he came in. He looked to the ceiling and flatly stated, God, if you are real, then I want you to knock me off this platform. I'll give you exactly 15 minutes. The lecture room fell silent. You could hear a pin drop. Ten minutes went by and the professor proclaimed, Here I am, God. I'm still waiting. It got down to the last couple of minutes when the Marine got out of his chair, went up to the professor and cold cocked him knocking him off the platform. The professor was out cold. The marine went back to his seat and sat there silently. The other students were shocked and stunned, and they sat there looking on in silence. The professor eventually came to, noticeably shaken, and asked the marine, What in the world is the matter with you? Why did you do that? The marine calmly replied, God was too busy protecting America's soldiers who were protecting your right to say and do stupid shit and act like an idiot. So he sent me. The classroom erupted in cheers. So with regards to this version of the story and all others that I was able to find, um, there is absolutely no background information from what I can tell. No names, no dates, n no places. There's nothing to go on other than the fact that it happened to do with a marine and some outspoken atheist professor somewhere in some college at some time. Well, that's oddly lacking in detail. Don't you think that's a bit of a coincidence? As with the previous story that I've covered, um, there seem to be a lot of similarities. For one, the atheist professor happens to be back, who happens to be a similarly, if not more incompetent moron than the previous one in the Tristan Chalk story. And there happens to be some random Christian in that class who decides to stand up to him. Why it happens to be a Christian every time, I don't know. And why a Christian would even stay in that class, or why anyone would stay in that class for that matter, with someone who's as batshit crazy about his religious views as these professors, is beyond me. Like honestly, even as an atheist, if the prof went up in front of the class one lecture and said, I'm going to prove that God doesn't exist, that would be an indication to me that I have to find a new professor. To illustrate why the professor's test is a bit flawed, it would be like saying, one of the students in the lecture hall didn't exist. And if he didn't push the professor off the platform, that means he didn't exist. Like, no, those two things don't follow. And are we expected to believe that a college class would just sit there for 15 minutes watching some guy stand up on a platform and not one of them would get up to leave like, okay, this professor has lost it, let's get the hell out of here. Like, none of them had the common sense to do that. All of them were like, hmm, maybe there ain't no God. Let me just sit here for 15 minutes and see. So the Marine goes up and knocks the professor unconscious, and the rest of the class does fuck all about it. They just sit there, and none of them thinks to themselves, Oh, maybe the professor's hurt. We should call the school nurse. Maybe we should call campus police to keep this crazy guy in check for assault. No, they all just sit on their asses and go, Whoa, dude, did you see that? That, that Marine guy just... Knocked a prof unconscious, man! Like, like, wow! I, I can't even believe what I'm seeing, man! Like, wow! So the professor comes to and asks the Marine what the hell's wrong with him, and the Marine says, Well, God's too busy protecting the soldiers of America who are protecting your right to say and do stupid shit! So God sent me! So the creator of the universe, the earth, and by extension, all human beings, in, in, the, in just the last couple of centuries, just decided to pick a team. Like, he left everyone to die of famine, starvation, of other predators, etc. And just in a few centuries, he's like, I'm gonna throw all of my support on America! Yay! 
So the all-powerful, almighty creator of everything can't multitask, and apparently he sucks at single-tasking too since, well, just look at the casualties involved in Iraq and Afghanistan alone. Now I myself have not received military training, but I would think that being a marine would entail that you earn a sort of restraint, some common decency, maybe some honor and some dignity and some respect. You know, all of these things that the marine didn't show when he just decided to knock the professor off the platform for disagreeing with him. Not to mention that this marine seems to have some sort of narcissistic delusion where he thinks he's the hand of God sent to smite those atheists who dare speak against the Almighty. And, and just in case you guys didn't notice, here's the Marine's logic. God is protecting the soldiers who are protecting the professor's right to say and do stupid things. And he goes and knocks the professor off the platform for saying and doing stupid things that speak out against him. Nice. And finally, as the rotten cherry on the diarrhea cake, the rest of the class give this guy an applause. Like, oh, maybe we should go get that professor some help now, or maybe we should just take that marine in and make sure he doesn't hurt anyone else. Oh no! No, 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 they'll be fine. That marine guy just proved that God does exist! Yay! So, Christian children, what's the moral of the story here? Bullying is wrong, kids. But punching people who disagree with you and your religion and speak out openly against it is A-OK. -okay. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And stay tuned for the next installment of Messed Up Christian Stories. May the truth always be heard.